Hey there, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up TLS SSL Stunnel on HTTP Injector using the SNI method for a secure and reliable internet connection. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Now let's get started. The first step is to create an SSH TLS server account. Open any web browser on your device and in the search bar type UDP Custom and hit enter. From the search results, click on the official UDP Custom website. This is where we'll create our SSH SSL server. Once you're on the UDP Custom homepage, look for the menu icon, three horizontal lines, also called the hamburger icon. Tap on it to open the options menu. Now select SSH server and then choose SSH Stunnel server. This will take you to the account creation page. Enter your username, solve the CAPTCHA, and click Create Now. Within seconds, your server details will be displayed on the screen. Now that we have the SSH TLS server details, let's set up HTTP Injector on our device. 1. Open Google Play Store and search for HTTP Injector. 2. Click the Install button and wait for the download to complete. 3. Once installed, tap Open to launch the app. On the home screen of HTTP Injector, look at the top right corner and click on the arrow icon to open the Settings menu. Inside the Settings menu, you'll find options to configure the tunnel type and connection protocols. Select SSH as the tunnel type. Choose TLS SSL Stunnel as the connection type. Once selected, click the Save button. Now tap on the gear icon to access the SSH settings. 1. In the Secure Shell SSH settings, tap on SSL Host. 2. Paste the host details copied from the server creation step. 3. Enter port 80 or any other port provided by the server. 4. Enter your SSH username and password from the server details. Once you've entered all the details correctly, go back to the home screen. If you want to add a custom SNI, click on the pencil icon. A small window will pop up where you can enter a valid SNI. Important! If you enter an incorrect SNI, the connection won't work. If you're unsure about SNI, check out our previous video in our playlist to learn more about it. Once everything is set up correctly, click Start to connect securely to the internet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.